So section two, the first task. One thing to point out, the blue text is what your code should produce. Okay, anything that's in black is what's going to be typed in. So this, how long is a piece of string, will be typed in, which means that enter text needs to be an input so that somebody could type in how long is a piece of string. So we need a variable when we're using input because we're going to store the information somewhere. So in there, it has to look exactly like, oh, that's not input, that's input. It has to look exactly like they have asked because they're going to mark it. It has to be the same as what they've got. So enter text with a colon, full on colon at the end. And really importantly, a space afterwards so that the H of how long doesn't go right up against the colon. You need that space in, otherwise it's going to mark it wrong. If we run that then, we can see that we get enter text. That pink is showing the space that you've put in. And so you could now just type in what they had. How long is a piece of string? Oh, how long id? Doesn't matter. The whole point of it is if you typed all of that in, the answer should be 30. Okay. Now, to get the answer, you need to look back at the previous circle one, if you haven't looked at these already. And that tells you how to find the length in this case, the variable is called A.